Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel Tim Crafty. I hope you all are doing great. So my name is Tamali and as you all know, I have shared all the videos related to art and craft and we are into festive decor nowadays. So today we will be decorating our home with a beautiful jharokha design inspired from the traditional Indian art from Rajasthan. So here I am using all the best material because I want you all to recreate each of the product to decorate your home in this festive season. As you can see I have taken a cardboard box and I'm just securing their sides and the wall with the masking tape. You can take any container or any packet from mid high dabba to the short container anything would you like to work. And what I'm going to do I'm just going to use the upper part as a jharokha and in the inner part I am going to take a beautiful decoupage print. So here I have taken a jharokha cut out. Always make sure you have taken a half side and just cut it accordingly so that you can get the exact shape for the both side. And I am going to cut it with craft knife. You can use any knife or short things to cut it out. <laughs> Once I'm cutting the design, I am going to take the masking tape to secure all the edges. So once my base is done, I'm going to do the decoration. So here I'm not going to use any gesso first as because this is our glossy finished paper. I'm going to take directly the texture paste. This is from It's a Bit C and this is two in one. That means you can use it as a gesso or a texture paste as well. And I'm going to cover all the sides with it. I'm going to do with the help of palette knife. You can also take anything like that. Alright, so leave it to dry for a couple of hours and leave it to dry for completely. And in the meantime, I'm going to decorate the base layer. So here I'm going to do this beautiful Indian print decoupage design. This decoupage paper is from It's a Bit C. As you can see, this is having a two different design. You can choose accordingly. You can also use any printed paper. And I'm going to take this design and first just measure the design and then cut it out and do the decoupage technique. So as you all know, in decoupage technique, we need a white base. So here I'm using the gesso or you can use the chalk paint or any kind of acrylic color in white shade and I'm going to cover the whole base together and once that is done I'm going to do the decoupage so for the decoupage I'm choose my design and I'm going to cut it with my hand card because we need that uneven edges for my decoupage technique just see how does I do that and if you like this kind of content don't forget to subscribe my channel team crafty and hit the bell icon so that you get all the notification whenever I post it a new video so for the sticking purpose I'm always going to check the design first and then stick it properly so here I'm using the Febicryl Mod Podge glue you can also use the regular glue with a little bit of water or you can use your deco magic glue from it's a bit C. and if you're purchasing anything from it's a bit C website don't forget to use my coupon code tamali5 to get extra discount for all the product As you all know, the decoupage technique is the most easiest one, but it's a tricky one as well. So use the paper very, very little with the glue and just use like this. Just apply the glue and attach the paper and don't forget to apply a second coat of glue on the top of it to seal everything. <music>
so as it is a base layer i'm not going to do the other things as well like a normal decoupage you can do it accordingly but now i'm moving forward to the front layer because this is the very important so here i'm using the gesso to make it proper white you can also skip this part and on the top of it i'm going to apply a beautiful glossy shiny beautiful metallic color from it's a bit see so i'm going to use this metallic color from the first time and this is my absolute favorite this is the shade like brick design so all the shades name i will mention in the description box with the link provided so don't forget to check that out so metallic paint i love it because this is having a dual tone like a chromic tone and this is also applied for all the indian art form and just look at the shiny and this is the shade number um brick or it is a pinkish or you know golden rose gold type of color and i'm going to feel everywhere once it is done i find this is not that looking good so that is why i have applied a blue metallic color on the lower part you can choose the design or the color according to your choice now i'm going to apply the blue shade and also i have highlight all the edges with a beautiful gold shade of 3d gold liner so basically i am going to do some different technique like a stencil on the upper half and i will use my 3d cone liner to draw some beautiful design on the lower part so that is why i have differentiate the colors so that i can do the design differently so here i'm using a very beautiful indian print of stencils from handline they have amazing collection of stencils and stencils really really makes your project looks beautiful and makes your art really easy so here is the trick you have to apply the masking tape on the both the side and i'm going to use the beautiful metallic blue color that i have already used in the lower part with my stencil brush and you have to do it very very precisely i'm just loving the design and the outcome is so so satisfying once that is done i'm going to do some beautiful 3d cone liner artwork on the lower part you can also use some clay work here but here i just want to keep it very simple and do it very easily so you can just keep it like this or you can use some mirrors on the top of it on all the sides here i am using the 3d cone liner itself to make some beautiful design so it is completely up to you that what may design you want to make it i am already loving the project and i think you also love it too if you love this ideas don't forget to subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon and also you can comment down below whatever you think about this project and if you make something like that don't forget to share it with my instagram handle also you can put your comments or like your queries in the comment box i love to see that <laughs>
at the last i'm again highlighting the edges because all the product is already done and i'm going to finish it off so let's see what all the final outcome looks like so this is the final finished look and you can also use the upper part only it will look such a beautiful piece and you can make two to three different design and two to three different colors and you can put it together on your wall and your diwali decoration is almost ready so now moving to the next project next art i'm going to make something with the uh, inspiration from worldly art and i'm going to make a beautiful planter so here i'm using this blank container from asian paint and i'm going to put the this gesso this is a white gesso from its bitsy and i'm going to paint all over it you can also use any acrylic color or chalk paint in a white shade the first coat I'm using the brush and for the second coat I'm using this sponge dabber to remove all the brush stroke. And once that is done, I'm going to take this beautiful decoupage paper from It's a Bitsy with this Bolly art and it has two different shades, two different design. I'm going to use the second one with a beautiful shade of purple, pink or orange and I'm going to use it all over to my planter. So you know the tricks that we are going to put the different design. I'm going to cut it all over the design. I'm going to separately put it on my planter. And here I'm using a small size brush with a little bit of water to dab it. And then I'm going to cut it with my hands so that we can get the uneven edges for our decoupage technique. <music> So if you want to learn some decoupage technique with a different different background or different base so you can check the decoupage on everything playlist on my channel team crafty and here i have applied all the design decoupage on fabric decoupage on glass reverse decoupage different de technique to do decoupage so that you can learn a lot and if you love this kind of artwork please please support my channel and hit the bell icon and subscribe my channel so that you get all the art ideas from here and you can make for yourself So once you are done with your decoupage, make sure you have applied a good coat of gloss, glossy um, decoupage glue. The same glue that I have used for sticking purpose and I am going to seal it everything because we are going to do a lot of artwork on the top of it. So it is very important to seal your papers from any art pieces. Okay. So once that is done, I am going to paint the whole area which is blank what we have to do we just mix and match two different color like that is pink and orange and i'm going to just replicate the background so that it will look like it is complete background and on the top of it you are just doing the worldly art so for the technique i'm going to use this dabo you cannot achieve the technique or the look seamlessly with the brush stroke so you have to apply the color with the brush and then you have to dab it with the dabber or sponge so just see how does i do that <music> So once I'm happy with the coloring, I am going to seal everything with the same glue again just to make it more waterproof. You can also use a little bit of varnish coat on the top of this glue and you can just leave it as this. 
and then I will finish it off with a good 3d cone liner to design something like a little bit dot some detailing on the top of this worldly art and just to make everything in a single page and then I will add some very very beautiful shiny shimmery lace and some pom pom lace and I'm going to finish my art piece so let me know in the comment sections that how you like these ideas you can actually use it for a flower vase and also you can use it as a planter so <music>and this is the final finished look i hope you guys enjoy this video and thank you so much for watching till the end i will come up with an another tutorial with this festive season decoration stay tuned for that and don't forget to subscribe my channel if you're new to here and once again thank you so much for watching till the end i see you all in my next video till then take care and goodbye